I know that you have read and heard uh, Drew's apology from this morning. What is your reaction to what he said today? Well, you know, my first response um, to it, this is, you know, it'll be a, it'll be a huge disservice for uh, us to have millions of people um, in, this, in, in, in American streets and a global cry around the world going on right now um, around uh, racism in America, police brutality, systematic injustice, specifically against black people right now, and for us to take the time uh, to just address, you know, one man and his estate and his statement. I think we've done that before. We've allowed the conversation to move away from the issue to somebody's stance on the issue or things that detract away from what we really need to be addressing. And uh, that's the state of black people in America. Uh, if you if you would look at Malcolm Jenkins' response, I think that's where the pain and the anguish of the black community can really be seen and really be felt. Um, here's somebody who uh, you can see the full emotions of 400 years of oppression, of oppression in this country that, that black people have had to face. And that's why there's a global outcry right now. That's why people are marching in the streets of all different backgrounds, of all different cultures, cultures united and saying, we have to address this. And so if we allow ourselves to, to, to um, you know, be uh, taken away from the issue, then that's going to be on all of us, uh, not just one man that's going to be on all of us. Well, I would, what I will say about Drew, um, you know, the reason that was uh, uh, upset, you know, people were upset the first time was because he didn't speak towards uh, racism. He didn't speak towards uh, uh, the plight of, of the black community. And that's what we had a hope he would have elaborated on the first time. But what I what I can say is Drew showed uh, the ultimate uh, move of a leader. He owned his mistake. He owned his mistake and he moved the conversation back to the issue, which he should have spoke on the first time. That's 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 the essence of a leader. And I think that's a model for for all of America, especially that's America that's that's not of color, because that has been a sentiment in America for the longest. And. Uh, it's missing the point. Uh, black people have been crying for far longer than uh, George Floyd's death, and has and has gone uh, dramatically unheard. And when you see uh, Drew Brees uh, come out and say, "You know what? I missed the point," but but now I understand my mistake, and now I'm going to do everything I can to learn from my black brothers, uh, learn from the black community and use the resources that I have to help the black community. Uh, I think that's the model of leadership and that's what, what needs to be modeled and reflected throughout America. I, I fully understand and appreciate your, your initial thought there, that this is about something far larger than Drew Brees. It was always about something far larger than the national anthem and all the rest of that. I fully understanding that, but I do feel it is um, important on a sports show for me to ask you how you anticipate this affecting the relationships that Drew has with, with the players on your team and, and how it might impact your team going forward. Uh, well, I think everybody in the locker room uh, knows the character uh, of Drew Brees. And, and, and Drew is a man of action uh, far beyond words. And that's what's needed in this moment to, to, to bring, you know, uh, unity and, and to fix this issue that's plagued our, plagued our country for so long. Um, as, as for me, um, you know, we all wanted to see, you know, uh, what Drew's stance was on this particular issue. You know, I, we all could assume what it is, but now he, he, he has came out and made it clear what his stance is. That's all, that's all I need. But before he made his stance, you know, Drew had already reached out to me about, you know, wanting to know more about the Players Coalition and how he could be involved, you know, wanting to know more about this social justice uh, group that, that Ms. Benson is forming and how he can get involved. He reached out to me about, about uh, uh, the, flat, the, the mask that, that, that I'm uh, selling and the proceeds are going to the families of the Floyd and Arbor and said he wants to buy a bunch for, you know, different families, uh, or, uh, for a bunch for different churches that he supports. And um, that money will go, go to the family. So his, his actions have always spoke um, before his words. Uh, now, his wording wasn't clear, and he came out and said it. He owned it. You know, and, and admitted where he messed up. But but get this. All of America has to do that. All of America can follow Drew's, Drew's model and say, hey, we messed up. We got it wrong. We did not hear your cry. 
we were insensitive to you guys saying, hey, we're dying in the streets and nobody's doing anything about it. That's why millions of people are in the streets right now. Not just black people, people of all different backgrounds, all different cultures saying, hey, we stand with you. Black lives have been um, overlooked and mistreated and, uh, and, and, and been mistreated unfairly in America for too long. And it's time for us to address the issue. And what we can allow ourselves is to go back to the way things were. You know, we're here now, all people united, working together to bring a solution to, uh, to the problem. And we have to stay focused on the issue. And uh, if anything, I would say America can, can, can learn a lot from, from uh, what Drew did. I would like to underline something, uh, Damari, that you just said, and we can put the graphic up. I'm, <clears throat> I'm told Damari was donating proceeds from his Man of God mask sales to families of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery, and there's a website, 56manofgod.com, where you can order those. And Demario, I very much appreciate it. I know this is a difficult time. Thank you very much for doing this this morning. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, man. Be blessed.